It was an attack at the very heart of the university's downtown campus. We heard screaming and shouting, said the student. We dragged the injured to the cars. There was panic as students fled, fearing more explosions. In this city, death comes in an instant. This was a patio for college students in an engineering school. They were out having lunch when a mortar hit. It landed on a metal roof beam, and so many of the students were struck in the head. There were people on the floor, said the survivor. I don't even know how we got out of there. The dead and injured may have been accidental casualties in what seems a rebel plan to strike a number of nearby critical government installations, an air base, the defense ministry, and the presidential palace, which is also an attack on the city's morale by proving they can hit even the most closely guarded parts of the city. Barry Peterson is in the besieged capital tonight. And Barry, I wonder, what is it like to be a resident of Damascus? I think people tonight are shaken. I mean, who kills college kids who are out having lunch on a lovely spring day? It really feeds this sense that this is a city under siege with a government that, if you live here, is frighteningly powerless to protect you. Barry Peterson in Damascus for us tonight. Barry, thank you.